Welcome to day 25 of Megan NYC. For today's video, I'm going to be telling the story of my first day of the year. Let's just say that 2024 started pretty cold and wet for me. It's currently 5 degrees Celsius or 44 degrees, 44 degrees Fahrenheit and we're going to the beach. Trey's here. Last day of 2023 was a really boring day for me. I didn't really do much. So I, I started looking up things to do on the first day of the year. I want 2024 to be different. I want 2024 to be a year where I do just fun. So I started looking up things to do. And one of the things that I found was the Coney Island New Year's Day Polar Plunge. It's a new year, like taking a plunge in the ocean in the middle of winter. Mm -hmm. Thousands of people expected to take part in the annual Coney Island Polar Bear Plunge. This the Coney Island Polar Bear Plunge has been happening every single year on the first day of the year since 1903. That's a lot of time ago. Like when you really think about it, like 1903 it was 121 years ago. And I really like traditions. I really like this type of events that like happen every single year. And besides that, like I said, I was looking for something, you know, adventure, something like out of that, that would make me go out of my comfort zone, something like a different way to start the year. And then I thought, what a better way and a different way to start the year than to, to jump into absolutely freezing water in Coney Island, New York. We made it to Coney Island and I'm freezing already. I haven't even taken my jacket off. We're debating hard if we should still do this. We're like, we're like severely under. Here's the thing though, we came all the way here and like I'm not gonna let us not do this after this two hour trip. It's not just about the fun, it's also for a good cause as well. It raises money for nonprofit organizations across the area. Mm, I've seen them running in the snow. When I really started, you know, getting the registration process started, I found out like to register for it, it wasn't that easy. You had to like get some donations together and like represent some, it was, it was tricky. And the fact that I found this the day before, I found this on the 31st of December, it just wouldn't be enough time to do all that. And that's when we decided to, to still go and do it ourselves and do it our own version of the polar bear plunge. <laughs> Oh, full. <laughs> what? Okay, here's the plan. The bathroom's are right behind us. We're gonna hop in the water. Do our little polar plunge for three minutes. Get out of the water. Roll ourselves in the towel and run here to the toilet. So the event is starting to end. People are starting to leave and I'm a little worried that we won't be able to get in the water, except that it doesn't really make sense because it's a public beach. Cal's in the bathroom getting changed. I feel, like it, I feel like it's wrong to just do it right at the same spot. I'm also like thinking that. Like, like I like actually, I kind of want to go like- Yeah, let's go over there. Away, you know? I can't feel my hands <laughs> and I'm still like wearing it. <laughs> I feel like the longer we spend doing this, the worse it's gonna be. I feel like we're you're just, like so. We just need to do it. I'm not from Minnesota. You're so spazzy right I'm It was one of the hardest things I've ever done in my entire life. It felt great though. I came for my entire life. <laughs> it's okay. Hold this. Okay, so I did about a minute and 30, about a minute and a half. To be honest, it was harder than I thought. Like, I don't know how much my body would 
handle. Thinking about it now, I feel like I could have done longer. Never had this feeling before. Like my whole body, I couldn't feel my whole body. Like lately, since I moved to New York, almost like every day when I'm out, I feel this in my hands, but I felt this in my entire body. And it was like scary. But now I'm fine again. I'm almost, I'm almost like chilling out to be honest. Except for my feet, my feet are like dying. So, rate the experience from zero to 10. I read a 10. I'm like really happy I did this. It's really nice to start that you're doing this, like living, you know, experiencing something new. One of my latest videos was about, like I was, I talked about how it's really important for you not to, for you to remember to live first, to have stories to tell, instead of being so caught up with trying to tell stories when you need to live those stories first. Pull up lunch, eat hot dogs, they say. And then that's kind of it. We had the hot dogs, we were walking around the island for a little bit, and then rabbits. Oh, there was a rabbit. There's a rabbit. His name is Peter. Peter. Yeah, now that's actually it. That's the story of the first day of my 2024. I'm actually looking forward to next year, maybe, you know, actually signing up and going through the whole registration process so I can do it with all those people because I bet it's so much fun to, you know, spread into the water with all the people next year. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. A really exciting one. Please subscribe. It would mean the world to me if you did. All right, bye.